Back in 2005 to 2006, it was possible to buy a 3-4 year old Rover 75 with zero mileage in Russia. Against the background of the automobile boom, when cars of many brands, not yet leaving the assembly line, actually already had their owners, this situation looked strange, but understandable. After the sensational divorce of BMW, since 1994, the Rover brand belonged to the Bavarians, and the Rover Group in 2000, the Europeans actually stopped buying this model. Most likely, fearing possible problems with the warranty, spare parts, as well as liquidity during resale. As a result, many cars have accumulated in the parking lots of European car dealerships, despite dumping prices. Then Russian entrepreneurs bought them in bulk at huge discounts and imported them into the country through gray channels. In our country they were sold as cars from conservation. In fact, before getting to Russia, they spent several years in the open air. Naturally, there was no question of any conservation, therefore, the manufacturer's warranty no longer covered them, but domestic sellers gave their own. The Rover 75 is a typical representative of the compact business class segment. Many owners appreciate it for its bright, outstanding appearance. In addition, the car is literally stuffed with options. Even today, even in basic equipment, it will give odds to many classmates. The standard equipment includes full power accessories, front airbags, air conditioning, power steering, ABS, navigation, traction control, climate control, heated seats, side airbags, leather interior, electric front seats, with memory, TV, parking sensors, light sensor, and cruise control. So long. The interior of the car is decorated in an ageless conservative style. It looks quite respectable, subtree inserts, good plastic, leather trim elements, and a bit of noble sportiness is given by white scales of devices. The steering column is adjustable over a fairly wide range in terms of tilt and reach. The level of sound insulation is very decent. In general, the Rover 75 is a beautiful, comfortable, solid and richly equipped car. At the same time, its price in the secondary market is relatively low at least noticeably lower than models of other manufacturers similar in terms of consumer qualities. The previous owner is unlikely to admit to the buyer what and how much money he spent during the operation of his car. His task is to show the product in person, so if you really like the car, then you should fork out for serious diagnostics in a specialized service. The source of the main troubles is most often electrical equipment. It is recommended not only to carefully check the serviceability of all devices, from heated mirrors to the engine cooling fan, but also, if possible, assess the condition of the wiring and connectors. By the way, oxidized contacts of electronic components often indicate that you have a car in front of you that has been in the water. It is clear that nothing good can be expected from the reanimated, drowned man. Even if everything works fine, then problems most likely will not be long in coming. The Rover 75 is also characterized by congenital minor defects. For example, door handles, electric locks often break, the hood opening cable breaks. It happens that in cold weather the throttle valve sticks in the open state and when the gas is released, the engine continues to keep high speeds. Repair in this case is inevitable and not cheap. The cost of the throttle valve assembly is 10,000 to 12,000 rubles. Engine. The Rover 75 was produced in four petrol versions, with V6 engines of 2.0 liters, 150 horsepower, and 2.5 liters. 177 horsepower, as well as 1.8 liter or 4, 120 and 150 horsepower. It is extremely rare to see a 116 horsepower 2 liter turbo diesel in its upgraded version in 2002, which develops 130 horsepower. Without exception, all engines often suffer from overheating when the cooling fan fails. Its replacement will be expensive, about 20,000 rubles. The engine control unit costs almost the same. The recommended interval for replacing timing belts is 90,000 kilometers. But the cost of work and spare parts directly depends on the number of cylinders. So, for a new belt and tensioner roller of a four-cylinder unit, they ask for about 10,000 rubles at the service, along with the installation. But on the V6, you will have to change two timing belts along with rollers, and it will cost twice as much. Transmission. On the Rover 75, a 5-speed manual or electronically controlled automatic gearbox was installed. On machines with mechanics, the backstage mechanism, 4,000 rubles in assembly, often breaks down and the tightness of the clutch hydraulic drive is broken. In case of leakage of the main or working cylinder, 
in order to avoid an early recurrence of the malfunction, servicemen recommend replacing the hydraulic drive assembly. The kit costs 18,000 and the work costs 12,000 to 13,000 rubles. The basket, disc and clutch release bearing usually serve 120,000 kilometers or more, and replacement and spare parts cost about 12,000 rubles. There are few cases of serious breakdowns of automatic machines, but if this happens, restoration is not cheap, a new unit costs about 120,000 rubles, and repairs are only two times cheaper. The steering rack usually goes up to 200,000 kilometers without problems, but the service life of the steering rods, 2,000 rubles apiece, is half as long. Suspension. Already on a run of 60 to 80,000 kilometers, the front levers and silent blocks often require replacement, spare parts, 17,000, work, 4,000 rubles. But the rear multi-link suspension, despite the complexity of the design, is very durable. The exception is the stabilizer bushings, which have to be changed every 50 to 60,000 kilometers. Native shock absorbers, 6,000 rubles apiece, usually go 100,000 kilometers. Land Rover branded stations are taken for servicing the Rover 75. They usually have a stock of the most popular parts and running consumables in stock and custom-made spare parts are usually delivered in two to three weeks. There are legends about the low reliability and fabulous cost of maintaining the Rover 75, partly not without foundation. However, in fairness, it should be noted that there are cars, more often late production batches, that do not cause much trouble to their owners. Finding such an instance is luck, but it should be borne in mind that the Rover 75, even in good condition, does not tolerate unskilled and inferior maintenance which means it is not cheap. Weight engines have common drawbacks, among which the main one is the exactingness of fuel quality and timely highly qualified service. The most practical and affordable in operation are inline fours of 1.8 and 2.0 liters, and the most expensive are rare diesel engines. The problems of a mechanical gearbox lie in the low reliability of the hydraulic clutch and gear selection mechanism. Breakdowns of the machine are rare, but if they happen, then replacement or repair will be expensive. The front suspension without repair serves about 100,000 kilometers. The steering rack is twice as long, but the tie rods may need to be replaced after 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Electrical equipment brings the most trouble. When by, it is necessary to check the performance of all devices and the condition of the connections, otherwise costly repairs cannot be avoided.